Lewis here, our shack barbecue and other things. Well, today I got a special cook for you. It's going on out there in the old R shack texting facility. I'm using a grill. It's not a Weber, it's not a pellet grill. It's something from the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. They made a lot of these, and I happen to have one. So let's go out and take a look at it. What we got is an old charcoal cooker. Now they made these somewhere in between the 50s, 60s, and 70s. This one here I got, uh, the original owner had it up at a cabin uh, under storage, barely ever used it. They sold the property, the next people bought it and uh, they knew it was something special so they decided to sell it and uh, when it came out on the old uh, interweb i jumped at it and bought it uh, it's really cool now what makes this neat as you can see it's got a rotisserie right now i have hot dogs going on it and uh, if we look a little closer here that bottom grate adjust this arm right here, move the grate up or down, depending on what you want to do. You can cook on that grate too. So that's pretty awesome. Now this one, uh, a lot of people call this a brazier. Uh, there's also Strutco is another brand. Kenmore through Sears made a lot of these. There was a bunch made back in the 60s. Um, I can't find a whole lot of information on them. There's different styles. There's uh, forums and all kinds of things. I need to do more research on it. This one, the motor, uh, it says Glazer on it. And once you plug it in, it starts. There's no on-off switch on it. Uh, but uh, this cooker, they're super light. and They're just fun to watch. So this is my first cook on it. And uh, we'll see how it does. <music> See, I've got all the hot dogs on there. Let's get it in here. Get it plugged in. All right. Just 
let it go. All right, let me show you this way those hot dogs are cooking. Brand new cutting board with my new business logo CNC milled into it. Now let me tell you about this cutting board. I found this company on uh, Instagram. They're out of Washington State here. Uh, it's called Puddle Pirate Projects. And they make all kind of signage, uh, cutting boards, anything pretty much out of wood. Uh, and part of the profits go to support our military, wounded veterans, and things like that. Uh, he's a retired uh, veteran, and you know me, I love to support those kind of businesses, uh, military, first responders, all of them. So I reached out to him and asked him if he could make me a cutting board big enough that I could do a whole Packer brisket cut on it. And this is what he came up with. Uh, it's awesome. He used three different types of woods on it. I believe it's walnut, cherry, and it looks like pine. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. On the back of it, here, you can see it's got his logo. Very, very cool. It's got little rubber feet on it. You're going to see this a lot coming up on my cooks. Go check them out. Puddle Pirate Projects. Tell them I sent you. Sorry, the sun is coming right through there. Um, but you'll see this cutting board a lot more on this channel. Gotta love this cutting board. Anyway, let's get back to this cook. Old school grill, modern day technology. Let's see how warm she is. So down at the grill grate, we're about 700 degrees. I was gonna set it right on there. So we're about 490, 480, right in that area, up at the hot dogs. about two I'd say about 250 varies a little bit there as it picks up on things very cool these hot dogs are just about done okay so they've been on for about a half hour and they look done it's so good so I'm gonna stop the rotisserie get them off of there uh, and take them in the house. We're gonna get them dressed up, show you what we're gonna put on these hot dogs, and we'll go from there. Mm, smells so good too. Mm. So this handle, not very hot at all. Nice. Look at those. Dripping, dripping. Ooh, they're warm. Got a jumper. Okay. Let's change hands here real quick. Put a glove on. I'm sure the spin is hot. Smart about it. Alright. Back over here.
Now there's real no way of shutting down this that grill, so we'll just let the coals die out. I mean, I could take them out of there, but they're fine. Just burn themselves out right there. Let's go in and have some hot dogs. All right, so here we go. Now I actually uh, got this recipe from my stepdaughter McKenna. She sent us a picture of a hot dog she had the other day and she uh, just said uh, things that I had in my fridge that I just put on it and it looked so good we decided we were going to duplicate it. So what she had on it was a little bit of mayo and she threw a little bit of mustard on the old dog. Not my favorite thing but hey. And then I'm going to add ketchup. I don't know if she had ketchup on hers, but I'm adding ketchup. And then she had some red onions. Mm. I like red onions. And she had some banana. What are these called? Spears? Or, and then she had some banana peppers on it. She had some diced jalapenos. And she had some cherry tomatoes on it. Well, you take a look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? I'm going to add a little cheese on mine. Put a little bit of cheese on top of it. There you go. Mm. Got my pickle. Got some chips here. Just do a little rotation from there. Got some macaroni salad. Delicious looking. All right, let's try a bite of this McKenna dog. That's what I'm going to call it, the McKenna dog. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Hmm. might have something there. Yeah, that ain't bad. Um, me personally, probably wouldn't do the jalapenos on it next time. Uh, but you should try it. If you like jalapenos, definitely put it on there. Hmm. Let's go in for another bite. Hmm. That's delicious. Anyhow, you saw how I did that. I just took the old, uh, I'm going to call it a brazier. I'm not sure what brand it is. It doesn't have any markings on it. Uh, but I'll call it a brazier 1960s grill. Use the uh, rotisserie spit and that really cool uh, hot dog rotisserie add-on that I picked up. Put those on there, put the coals in it, and just let it spin away. Probably took it about a half hour uh, to get them up to this temp to being done. Uh, they're delicious looking. And then the uh, toppings that we used on these uh, McKenna dogs, got from my stepdaughter McKenna. Uh, she used, I'll just go over it real quick again, uh, green jalapenos diced, cherry tomatoes cut up, red onion cut up, and uh, banana peppers. Uh, then I added uh, cheese on mine. Uh, she ate from her picture, and I'll have a picture of hers, see if I came out just pretty much like hers. She had, uh, I could tell she had mustard on it, and it looked like mayo. I don't think she had ketchup on hers, but uh, could be wrong. I'll have to go back and look at the picture. Anyhow, I hope you like this little trip back in time, using that old-fashioned grill like that. That's a lot of fun. Uh, I'll probably use it a few more times. Uh, I try to use my grills. They're just not all just for uh, show. Uh, I try to use them. So 
as I always say, you can do this too. Not that hard. Thank you for watching. Until next time, my friends. Grill on. Don't forget, go check out Puddle Pirate Park Projects on Instagram. Tell them I sent you. Lewis at Arshack Barbecue. Check him out. Follow him. Like his work. Does great things. Many different signs. So, let's support small businesses.